Hi, today we talk about the another interesting quantum experiment, Wigner's friend paradox. This was first coined by Eugene Wigner in 1961 and later developed as a thought experiment by David Deutsch in 1985. Let's first understand the experimental setup. Inside the lab, Wigner's friend Alex is with a photon and a detector to measure the photon's polarization. The photon is in a superposition state of horizontally and vertically polarized. When Alex measures it, the photon collapses into either horizontal or vertical polarization. But for Wigner, who is outside the lab and have no information about the Alex measurement, consider the old lab as a joint system of photon and Alex in a superposition state of all possible outcomes of the experiment. That is, the photon is horizontally polarized and Alex measures it horizontally and the photon is vertically polarized and Alex measures it vertically. Now, Wigner call his friend Alex and get the results of the measurement. From that outcome, Wigner then assign the state of the lab accordingly. Therefore, it is only at that time when Wigner learns about the Alex measurement, the superposition state of the system collapses. Here is an apparent paradox comes into play. From Wigner's point of view, the superposition exists until it gets the measurement outcome from Alex. And this fact suggests that measurement cannot have taken place until then. But this is in contrast to the point of view of Alex, who has measured the photon's polarization long before and recorded the collapse state already. So, when exactly did the collapse occur? Was it when Alex finished his measurement or when the information of the measurement outcome entered Wigner's conscious? Let's talk about the Wigner's discussion. Wigner designed this thought experiment to illustrate that the consciousness cause collapse. That is, the consciousness is necessary to the quantum mechanical measurement process. All that quantum mechanics claim are the probability connection between the subsequent impression of the conscious. Specific knowledge about the measurement system, that is the outcome of the measurement. In this way, the content of one's conscious is precisely all knowledge of one's external world. And measurements are defined as the interaction which create the impression in our conscious. Since the knowledge about any quantum mechanical wave function is based on such impression, the wave function of the physical system is modified once the information about the system enter our conscious. This idea is known as consciousness cause collapse interpretation. If we try to understand it from Wigner's friend experiment, the Alex consciousness get impressed by the measurement of photon's polarization and he will assign a wave function to the photon accordingly. But Wigner, having no access to the information, assign the wave function to the joint system as a superposition state of all possible outcomes. Now, when Wigner learns the measurement outcome from Alex, the Wigner's conscious get impressed and will able to assign the wave function to the photon. So far, there is no inconsistency in the theory of measurement. But before Wigner learns the measurement result from Alex, and get impressed, the outcome of the measurement had been in Alex's mind long before. Therefore, the correct wave function for the joint system after Alex's measurement must have to be collapsed to either horizontal or vertical and not their linear combination. Here is the contradiction. So, what is the Wigner's view on this problem? Wigner follows that. Being with consciousness must have a different role in quantum mechanics than an inanimated measuring device. If Alex were replaced by some measuring device without consciousness, the superposition state of the joint system of photon and the measuring device is described correctly. In addition, Wigner considered Alex as a quantum system and in superposition state with photon's wave function, which is illogical as Alex could not be in the state of suspended animation until he answer Wigner. This view needs the quantum mechanical equation to be non-linear. Wigner also believed that the laws of physics must be modified when allowing conscious beings to be included in the system. Wigner's friend paradox in many world interpretation. In many world interpretation, measurement are modeled as an interaction between the subsystem of the universe and manifest them 
as a branching of the universal state. The different branches accounts for the different possible measurement outcomes and are seen to exist as a subject to experience of the corresponding observers. To learn more about the many world interpretation of quantum mechanics, check out this video linked in the description. In contrast to the Wigner's interpretation that the consciousness of the observer is responsible for a collapse of the wave function, Howard insists that quantum states should be objective and non-perspective. He derives a logical contradiction when letting Alex and Wigner reason about the lab state of a joint system. Then, Wigner's friend experiment shows incompatibility to the collapse postulate of the measurement with the deterministic evolution of the closed system. Herbert claims that to solve this paradox by only allowing a continuous unitary time evolution of wave function of the universe. In this many world interpretation, Alex measures the photon's polarization as a result the bra world branches into two parallel worlds, one in which Alex measures the horizontal polarization and another the vertical polarization. If then Wigner measures at a later time the combined system, the world again splits into two parallel paths, one with horizontal direction and the other with the vertical direction. Wigner's Friend Paradox in Relational Quantum Mechanics In Relational Quantum Mechanics, any physical system can play the role of an observer system to which any other system may display facts about the physical variables. This inherent relativity of the facts in relational quantum mechanics provides a straightforward solution to the paradoxical situation in Wigner's friend scenario. The state that Alex assigns to the photon is the state relative to himself as a Wigner's friend, whereas the state that Wigner assigns to the joint system of Alex and photon is relative to himself as a Wigner. By construction of this theory, these two descriptions do not have to match because both have correct assignments of the state relative to their respective system. Alex models the situation as before and after transition of the photon state relative to M as follows. That is, the fact that outcome comes out to be, let's say, vertical for the polarization of the photon actualizes itself relative to Alex during the interaction of the two systems. Now, from Wigner's perspective, assuming that Wigner has no information about the Alex measurement, but as information about the all possible outcomes of the photon state that is being measured by Alex, the Wigner's models the situation as follows. This model is despiting the situation as related to Wigner, so the assigned states are relative states with respect to the Wigner system. In contrast, there is no value of Alex outcome that actualizes with respect to Wigner as it is not involved in the measurement. In this sense, two accounts of the same situation are accepted within relational quantum mechanics to exist side by side. Only when deciding for a reference frame, a statement for which the correct description of the situation can be made. Thus, paradox is solved. If you enjoy watching this video, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified on future updates. Professor Ash, signing off.